Hi, thanks for taking the time to view this executive presentation on the Strategic Marketing Report for Terrace. So the Strategic Marketing Report for Terrace had two main objectives. Firstly, was to undertake what is the rationale for marketing at Terrace. So a school that has overwhelming demand and not enough supply, what is the role of marketing when it doesn't need to promote or sell? Secondly, what is the strategic need for marketing and how can marketing be used to ensure the future prosperity of the school uh, within its current market? So this came together to make the objective of what is the role uh, and function of marketing at Terrace and how can it be used to strategically ensure the future prosperity of the college? To do this, there's three main parts. Firstly, the literature investigation. That looked to see how uh, secondary sources uh, and scholarly sources say how the school should be operating its marketing. Secondly was the research analysis, and that was undertaken through a marketing mix analysis, which looks at the offering of the school. And then secondly, a uh, marketplace analysis, which looks at the school's position within the competitive market of elite schools in Brisbane. And then lastly, we obviously have results and recommendations. Now, in order to uh, thoroughly research and analyse the school, its offering, and its position in the market, we have to have primary data collection. And that was undertaken through a survey and stakeholder interviews. Those who were chosen uh, to do scholarly recommendations on marketing and marketing within education, because it is such a qualitative uh, sphere. And so we have to look into the values and beliefs of students, of students and stakeholders within the community. So firstly, for the literature investigation, uh, looking into the role of marketing at Terrace, it was uncovered that Terrace is classified as what's called an oversubscribed school. So once again, uh, the demand well exceeds supply and the school can't necessarily do that. That has two effects. One, the school typically, or oversubscribed schools typically um, have organic growth. So within the market, they will continue to do well with the right governance, however. Uh, if they aren't able to do that, it, they do lose their footing. Um, the second part is that incorrect marketing can actually diminish the school standing and cheapen it. Uh, that was found for educational institutions, typically with rich history um, and a strong tradition. So incorrect marketing can actually uh, worsen the brand. But even though the school doesn't necessarily need traditional marketing, marketing is not full born. What the research says is that um, oversubscribed schools and secondary education need to employ what's called customer relationship marketing, or CRM. And um, what that means is they look into the customer care and customer loyalty and ensure stability and um, the future, ensure the future of the organisation. For a school, what that needs to do is specifically look at research and then look at to educate within the internal market or the internal um, community, that is. So it has those two main functions which lead to influence the strategic direction of the school. So specifically with research, um, the school needs to use internal research of stakeholders and external stakeholders uh, to find the values and beliefs um, or the shared values of clients. And what this will do is it will inform external marketing to affirm internal um, people within the school and affirm uh, future stakeholders. Even though the school does have um, uh, a large portion of old boys and repeat customers, as well as um, new potential clientele. But the potential clientele come from the same demographics, typically in the same schools. So word of mouth is actually really important for Terrace. Um, the car park talk between parents at primary schools, etc., really help consolidate the school. So what happens then is when the clients enter the school or community, they have to go through the purchasing process and the psychological contract. And what that means is that they need to be affirmed, they need to be um, assured of their, their pick and their choice according to what they thought their contract was when they were signing on for the school at Terrace. And so to educate is where the external marketing comes in. The external marketing needs to echo and soothe the client needs. So um, the affirmation process, which you can see here, they buy into the school, they consider and evaluate, it actually become, um, they become advocates for the brand and form this bond, which leads to the, the word of mouth. So using the education function and the research function, it helps create a shared vision here. So the external marketing um, brings out external and internal, and it helps through the consumer-centric market. So stakeholders are exceptionally um, uh, 
they're exceptionally powerful today. They are um, empowered to respond to what they want and when they're not getting their, their, their way, you know, I guess. And so the school needs to be responsive to that. So by doing research, the school's actually able to um, pick out what it needs to better be, better be doing and then react through marketing. So most importantly for a private school, they need to enact things of religious education and educating a whole child, which are a key competitive advantage for the school. So um, currently the school um, is not necessarily doing this or doing this well. So this is um, a function of marketing for the school, which they need to improve in doing so. For the marketing mix analysis, there are four key areas which came up. Firstly is the idea of the product. So what does Terrace offer as a product? Well, according to our research, we found that high academic outcomes, the supportive community, and a holistic education are the three most important, um, as you can see in the graph. Interestingly enough, 78% so of the highest response were academic results. However, 90% of those people that said that actually went on to say in another, um, another graph or another question was that it was key or central to their son's education. So the clients of Terrace are after the academic outcomes. One person, a stakeholder, um, interview actually went on to say that Terrace lives and breathes academics and it comes down not just from the top but from the bottom. So um, industry, in an in interesting observation. Um, when analysing the three words stakeholders use to describe Terrace, once again we found the idea of the community, holistic education and academic results. Interestingly though, the community of Terrace is not seen as other communities of Terrace. It was repeatedly said or themed as being nurturing and caring in comparison to competitors. So um, it went on, research actually suggests that um, there can be an offering of a less masculine offering or a less masculine thing, which isn't necessarily bad, but is something which the school does uniquely and um, needs to be um, affirmed for our customers. Also then, um, different to product, we have the process. So what things is the school doing which then lead or provide the, the product, which is the education. The three supporting criteria, one were academics once again, but interestingly, once again, community, but teachers. And it said how the community and teachers were doing this, both of the stakeholder interviews were tutoring, drafting, mentoring, all the outside of the classroom support, but as well as the school-based initiatives. So things such as the buddy program, fundraising, old boy events, um, mentoring matters of the school, they're all seen as things which are done by the school which others don't or can't necessarily do. Two interesting other parts of the marketing mix analysis are location. Now, with location and price, research says none of those things typically matter for schools. However, uh, for location, the competitors of Terrace were never, ever, not once, marked as being the ones out of Brisbane. So, Toowoomba, Southport, or even ones a little bit further out. Um, interestingly, they're all within uh, the, the, the inner circles of Brisbane. But as well with the price, um, price was once again said not to matter. However, Terrace is having a cost leadership uh, position at the moment in the market, which means they are actually um, hitting a certain demographic, a certain clientele, um, where price might be important for someone that's good value for money, which we see on the next slide, which is the market competitor analysis. So Terrace, compared to its five uh, biggest competitors, price against the perceived product, is clustered here with Brisbane State High and Nudgy. Now, it is offering a... Um, more value for money um, compared to the other two. However, these ones over here, they start from 20 grand up a year while Terrace is down at 12 to 14. So if any of these schools like Nudgee or BBC uh, or even Churchy for matter were to change price or increase in their academic performance, they could undercut the school, diminish the school's uh, competitive advantage of academics. Or if they were actually to go on a, a, a marketing drive to push community or other aspects which Terrace does well, they would actually once again undercut the school. So looking into the competitor analysis a little further, um, Grammar, Churchy and Nudgy once again were the three lead competitors. So over 60% of respondents actually named those schools specifically rather than just saying with only 5% elite GPS schools. So um, once again, those schools, if they were to improve their standing on the competitive advantages of Terrace, they could um, erode its, its brand or its image and take away maybe key clientele the school might want. If it wants to continue to get um, outstanding applicants, it might not be able to do so. Because as you can see, the reasons on why they are actually academics, Catholic education, fees, community, similar things. So 
maybe while they might not do it as well as Terrace, or it might be the key combination that Terrace has, if they are actually to alter or move, it has, um, it has dire consequences for the school. So there are three key recommendations leading on from the findings. Firstly, Terrace should initiate a relationship marketing initiative. So a case study in Canada found an elite school within a cluster um, that was struggling, implemented research um, and an educative function with CRM. Um, and they actually found that they were able to, um, they were able to find that pastoral care and bullying wasn't a strong part of the school. They actually improved it over five years. They actually um, enhanced their standing within the market. They were actually perceived as being the better school. So it, it, worked, it worked well for the school. So something similar needs to happen to the school. Entry people coming to school, people leaving the school, their values and beliefs need to be extracted. So how can we better market to them? But not only that, um, what is the school doing well and not doing well so the marketing can take on a strategic element? So how can the school change or respond better to the needs? The second is the integration of marketing communications. Now, a very broad concept, however, marketing needs to send the same message at all levels. So the external marketing not only uh, needs to soothe uh, the stakeholders, other areas of marketing, so internal, social media, need to do the same thing. This will create a clear one-story message and it will then echo throughout the organisation and um, send a better picture, a better story, and it will actually lead to better word of mouth, um, word of mouth marketing with our stakeholders. The last is strategic marketing content material. That's using the last two to once again pull in the research, educate, um, educate stakeholders, educate clientele, uh, and then obviously do it in a strategic manner to push the school forward. So in conclusion, there's three key parts. One, the primary role of marketing is research uh, and long-term customer management and to educate the market. The second is to then external marketing needs to affirm these people. So it needs to actually pick up on the competitive advantages of the school, um, soothe them, and it will in turn create word of mouth marketing for the school, which it relies upon and it needs. Uh, it also is uh, also assure that old boys continue to send that repeat customer, send their sons to the school as well. Lastly, due to competition, Keras must be aware of competitors. It needs to be aware of the surroundings and its strategic position for the school. It needs to play to its competitive advantage and ensure that it's uh, responding to clients. Otherwise, it could face uh, diminishing of the brand or um, losing market share to competitors. Uh, so now we're open to questions with the project sponsor Zoe. So we'll listen to those now. Thanks.